Hi, welcome to JJ's Productions. We've got another Hitman 2 video. This time we're in Mumbai and we're doing one challenge called Proxy Killer. Now, this challenge involves setting up the kills for the Kashmirian. So we're going to set it up so that he kills Dawood Rangan and then he goes on to kill Vanya Shah. So this is quite fun, you know, because I have already done a video where the Kashmirian kills Dawood Rangan. But I hadn't done one with Vanya Shah, so that was fun trying to work out how you ha have to actually get the uh, shot lined up. So if you're looking for that sort of challenge, because I think this it's a, you can't do this sound assassin suit only, that's for certain. But if you are looking for ways to sort of manipulate the Kashmirian, this is definitely a fun route to do. So first of all, I've been into his room and I've picked up the USB dongle, I've interacted with his laptop. I've also picked up the two photos. Now, if you're not doing a recording like me, if you look at the two photos, they pretty much sum up exactly where the targets are going to be. So, next thing after that, what you do is you go and go and just alter the scope of the sniper rifle. In my last video, which I'll leave a link to in the top right corner, we did alter the Kashmir scope in that so that we could have him kill the target once he had his portrait painted. The difference between this challenge and that though is in that video I was allowing the Kashmirian to do all the work whilst I was just waiting by the exit. Whereas this time we are going to be waiting as the painter. So you've seen I've shot out a camera and we'll just go and climb up here. I'm going to pick up the shovel and I'm going to just go up to the next level. So I've got a bit of climbing, we're up here, here we go. Now we're going to get a bit nearer. Uh, well, actually we are going to get near, sorry, we're going to shoot the camera. If you get too near, then this woman here will get spooked and she'll uh, panic. So we don't want that, so just stay f far enough away. We're going to throw a coin, and that's going to move a guard over to that little area near the bushes. As soon as he moves, we're going to throw the shovel at him and knock him out. We're going to pick up all the goodies he drops, and we're going to put his body into the dumpster just behind us, I had to think which direction it was in then. So yeah, we're going to hide him, change disguise, pick up the shovel as well because that will come in handy momentarily and as I did, just make sure there are no more goodies left like coins etc. There was also a key card they dropped so we're going to use that to get inside the building. And there's an enforcer here so we're just going to knock him out. Make sure he isn't looking this way when you do it otherwise you will get a compromise. So just make sure he is looking either directly ahead or if he's looking towards the right because that means he's not looking down. Once he's knocked out we're going to hide him in this closet and from here we are actually pretty safe as far as getting towards the artist and Dawa Dragon. So I've picked up the shovel again. You, that will come in handy in the next section although if you have got another melee weapon you won't need it. We're going to go through this section and we're going to pick up the tube of paint. Now, it's not necessary, I don't believe, for this challenge, but I bought it just in case. I didn't know if it impacted the challenge in any way, if the paint wasn't there, so I thought, let's bring it along just to be safe. Now, you might have heard about it in my recent videos, but I've had glitches on my controller where, for some reason, 47 decides to stop running even though I'm holding down the corresponding button. So if you see, it looks like I'm doing a sprint and then he suddenly goes stop, start, stop, start, that's what's going on. So we're in the room and the artist and his bodyguard are here. And as you can see, I'm pointing out where the Kashmirian is and that's where he's going to take his shot from. Now I find this whole section a little bit funny for that reason because we've essentially got to knock these two out. The artist is the priority, but we've got to also knock out the guard because if we don't knock him out, he's going to be an enforcer. So, I find the whole thing a little bit weird because we've got the Kashmirian looking on into this room. And you'd think he would have been a problem in the sense that the Kashmirian's looking into the room, so surely you've got to make sure that you knock them both out in an area where he can't see. But as you're watching, I'm subduing the painter and the Kashmirian doesn't care one little bit. So, uh, I'm not sure if that should have been a problem. I mean, I know it would have made the level more complicated, but I think I would have liked the idea of having to knock them out, out of sight of the Kashmirian because he can't see this closet, so it would have just been a case of having to knock him out away from the painting. But, um, yeah, just a small little observation, but I'm curious what other people think if they would have liked the Kashmirian to have been an, essentially an enforcer to this room as far as doing stuff near the painting. Anyway, we are the painter now, and we've got two enforcers in this area, so make sure you time your run well. I saw that one on the right, and I just dodged it, but there is a male enforcer just towards the left-hand section, or as we're looking now, the right-hand section. 
So just be aware so that you don't bump into either of them by accident. At this point we've just got to wait up here for Darwadrangan to walk downstairs and I'm just observing their patterns. I'm trying to make sure that once I start walking downstairs again I don't bump into them by accident. It's useful to a degree, but I wouldn't weigh too much on it because, you know, by the time Darwood's here, he could end up having a different uh, walking pattern anyway. So, here he is, He's, he comes out with the most ridiculous comment I think I've heard in the game so far, which is, oh, have you had a shave? And I think, yeah, that shave has turned him from an Indian-looking man to a Caucasian man. So... I'm not exactly sure how this disguise is washing, I must admit. I think, I know there's a level of um, disbelief in games, but I think there is a bit where you're going, really? You saw this guy not long ago and he was Indian looking and suddenly he's Caucasian and, oh, that you've had a shave, have you? You know, I, I sort of credit them for trying to explain it, but... Wouldn't it have been easier having the painter as a Caucasian male? Um, again, I'm not being awkward there, I just think to myself, it saves having an awkward line trying to explain it. But, um, yeah, that was Darwood's rationale of why suddenly 47 was doing the painting. So, the idea is we blend into the painting and 47 will start doing some colouring in by the looks of it. I'm not exactly sure how that works out, but here we go. Darwood will do a bit of talking, just pretty much bragging about the fact that he's so big in Bollywood or wherever he is famous in. And 47 pretty much just goes along with it, like, you know, oh yeah, just lift your hand up a little bit, close your fist, and all this guff. So you know that he's going to be killed momentarily. I think he says something on the lines of, will you please lift your head or something? You know, I think he's basically trying to help the Kashmiri and take the shot. So, um, yeah, it's a funny little section. It was better actually being in the room to observe this kill than actually being outside just waiting for the shot to happen. So I'm glad I've actually done the broad strokes challenge at, uh, in its entirety. There we go. He says, can you look up a bit? You'll see the picture in picture if you've got it activated and you can just take the shot. You don't need to hide the body because the Kashmirian kill is an accident. So that will not uh, affect Silent Assassin. So we can just make our way down the elevator shaft. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not going down the stairs, it's because, as I've said already, there are a couple of enforcers, and I only want to go down one floor. So we're going to use the keycard again to get back into the security area. There won't be anyone looking, but you are trespassing in this area, just to keep that in mind. And there's actually no enforcers for the rest of the exits, so we are going to change back into our suit. And make our way back out of the uh, tower area, the same way we came in. So yeah, that was Rangan's kill, and if you've watched the previous video, or if you've just seen this challenge in general, it's fairly simple to get in and out. Now, Vanya Shah, she isn't difficult again, but she did catch me out. There's the running glitch I was telling you about. It's as if he suddenly gets confused near a crowd. Anyway, just carrying on. It's just a simple case of the Kashmir in his now moving rooms. He's now going into his base of operations, the first room we went into with the board and the dongle and all that lot. And we're essentially going to set the kill up for him. So we're going to vault over here. We're now in a trespassing area. And this did catch me out to begin with. We've got a guard there. You have to sneak past him slowly. If you go too fast, one of the laundry workers will spot you. So take it nice and slow and you should be able to sneak past. But that guy, who I think is a Queen's Guard, he... I actually tried luring him away to knock him out. And then I found out you actually need him for the challenge. So whatever you do, do not knock that guard out. Because otherwise this whole challenge is impossible to do. So, from here, what we're going to do is knock out three people. We've got this guy here, who is just looking ahead right now. You can see the white dot. As soon as he moves, we're going to throw the shovel at him. After that, we're going to knock out the laundry foreman, who's just downstairs, and there's also another laundry worker down there. So I've picked up a hammer on my travels. There's one just actually on the bridge we've just been on, so you should be able to pass that just as you're getting into this area. And we're going to throw the hammer at the guy here. And then we're going to run and subdue this guy close up from behind. Now, I wouldn't throw the armour at this one, for the simple reason, there are people who look up, and by doing a close-up subdue, it does prevent those from looking up seeing the knockout, whereas I think the hammer is a little bit more susceptible to being seen, so 
I'd do a close-up subdue rather than a thrown one. So yeah, at this point I'm just doing a bit of tidying up because there isn't actually a lot to do now until we actually go and inform the Queen's Guard that the laundry foreman, aka 47, is ready to see Vanya Shah. So we're just getting rid of the bodies. I don't think that Vanya Shah's guards or any of those in the area would see these bodies, but equally, why leave them out when you've got the time to clean them up? So that's the main objective at this point, just cleaning up, trying to make sure that it's a clean job. We're going to put it into this closet here. No one comes in this area, so you shouldn't have any problems seeing it. At least as far as I know anyway, no one comes in this area. Check that you get the right disguise and change into it. Nice and simple. Again, I'm not 100% convinced how this one works, as far as how he's actually convinced Vanya Shah that this is him, but if I'm right, the story does state that she hasn't met the foreman yet, so I suppose there is some plausibility there. But again, I know you've got to have the idea of it's in Mumbai, it's in India, so you can't have um, a lot of Caucasian NPCs, but equally it's a case of... Really? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm trying to balance it up. I think it's where there is a bit of difficulty in having specific disguises when you've got a Caucasian male wearing them. So I'm curious how much people's disbelief is actually being tested in this level. So um, let me know in the comments. I'm wondering if I'm being too harsh on the developers here or if there was very little they could do whilst also trying to do their usual thing. So at this point we're just following this guy up to the bridge so we're going pretty much the same way we've just been. Unfortunately you do have to follow him. I think if you don't follow him he'll walk back so I would just follow him just to be safe. Maybe I'm wrong there, maybe you can just sneak up ahead of well, not sneak up, but bypass him and go straight on the bridge. But to be honest, it doesn't impact you anyway because Vanya's still got to make her way to the bridge, so you might as well follow him, it won't help you time wise. And at this point, I am going fast forward because it'll probably take Vanya about a minute to get to the bridge, so I'll see you in a moment. At this point you only have to do one thing which is start up the conversation with Vanya. So she'll stand on the edge of the bridge, it'll say initiate conversation and that's it. All you've got to do is wait for the Kashmirian to take his shot. Now I'm not actually sure if there is another challenge alongside this so I'm going to have to find this out. If anything I'm wondering if there's an opportunity to push her off the bridge without being seen. Now I'm not convinced of this so I'm going to actually look at this while I'm uh, doing this recording because I'm looking at that uh, guard there and I'm wondering if he'll turn around. If he turns around there is a possibility to also do a push kill which again I'm not sure if there's a challenge for it, I haven't looked into it, but it isn't important because the Kashmirian is what we're aiming for here. I'm saying this and then I realise she's there so I'm actually speaking guff right now, there is actually no chance of pushing her if she's there so um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed there. It would have been fun to actually push her and uh, have people seeing it, but yeah, when I think this through, that there was no way of pushing her off this bridge, so yeah, I can't imagine there's any other way other than the Kashmirian taking her out. Let me know if there is, though, because I'm curious now. Yeah, I was going to say that guard does turn around, but unless she turns around dear, I don't know how you could push her. Anyway, the idea is she's shouting at them down there and there's going to be a moment when she'll just say something very loudly and the Kashmirian shoots her. So, it's a very simple kill. You've pretty much set it up already. If I'm right, you hear me. Yep, yeah, there we go. Shot taken and you can walk off now. I'm going to say it's such a simple kill and as far as the challenge goes, that is challenge completed for what we've been aiming. The Maelstrom, I have done a kill for him, but I haven't done a challenge, so if you want to stick around for the Maelstrom kill, by all means do so, but if you aren't willing to just see a random Maelstrom kill, thank you for watching. But for, as far as the Maelstrom goes, I'm actually following the Kashmirian storyline a little bit, in the sense that he's completed two kills, one on Darwood, one on Vanya, and the idea is he calls up the, Kash uh, the Maelstrom next, the Kashmirian, and he sets up a meeting. Now. This might seem like a bit of, alright, well, what are you going to do then? Now, 
<laughs> I would have liked to have actually set it up so that you could see what the cashmere was saying on the phone. And I have actually followed him, and it's quite interesting. He does come across as quite an interesting character when you follow him during this section. But, unfortunately, if you follow him, you're losing time where you can actually be taking out the crows who are in the way. So, I would advise doing this, but if you are curious, it is worth following the Kashmirian once he leaves the, uh, the, shawl, the trolls, because it is a fun conversation to uh, listen in on. Anyway, as you can see, we're just going to the crows' hide out, and we're just going to lure them out one by one. So we've got a generator here, we're going to turn it off. That'll lure one of them outside. Now, if you're lucky, as I was, it'll be the one that's standing up. If the one that usually is sitting down comes out, then you've got a bit of difficulty because the one who stands up has got more chance of seeing something going on outside, whereas the one sitting down doesn't look outside. So, as you can see, he's just busy playing on his game or whatever. So, we're going to knock this guy out, just pick up the key so we can get inside the... I don't even know what you call it, the building easier, <laughs> just to be safe. And we're just going to throw the hammer at him. So that's the two of them dealt with, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this guy inside straight away just so that there's no chance of someone coming in and finding the body. There's a staircase just around here, and we're going to hide both bodies at a, in a closet just at the bottom of the stairs. So it's a little bit of a drag, but it's not the worst one in the game. So yeah, I'd just drag it down here and put him in the closet just here. So nothing too intensive again. I would also avoid changing disguise because these two disguises, or the same disguise essentially, it isn't very useful. So if I was you, I would just wait a moment until we go into the next room because there's a much better disguise there. So again, we're just dragging the body. To say that it's a drag would be playing a pun very hard, but it is true. So we go through here and you can see a lot of enforcers, we're in a hostile area. There's a door here, and we're going to open it, and we're going to knock the guy out inside. So, you've got to time it right, because he is sort of looking this way. So, as soon as you know he's turning around, like now, get your hammer out, and knock him out. I would actually throw it, because he is a bit of a funny head turner, so you wouldn't like to accidentally punch him. So, a thrown hammer is the best solution here. Hide him in this closet, and take the disguise. And from here, the main objective is actually just knowing for certain where the maelstrom is. What I would advise is, if you don't want to sneak ahead of my route here, just go and find the Kashmirian, because he'll probably end up highlighting the uh, maelstrom for you. But I think at that point, you will miss an opportunity to kill him easily. So, as you can see, this is where the, ma the Kashmirian will turn up. And... You can wait for him here. I wouldn't advise doing it, but you can wait for him here. He'll just stand out in that alleyway just ahead. You'll, I think he'll be on the phone, he'll have a little pep talk for himself, and then he'll come in trying to act the big I am. But it was at this point that I thought to myself, I know where the, ca uh, where the maelstrom is going to be. So I thought, what is the point in waiting for the cashmere to meet him when I can just go there and kill him? So that's what I'm going to do. So I walk in here, and this is, if I'm right, that isn't the room I'm going, oh, is it? Let me just have a look. No, that isn't the room I'm going to kill him in, it's the one on the left. If you can actually see, the guy walking in is the maelstrom. <laughs> so here he is, we're just going to follow him inside the room, and as soon as we get a chance, we're going to kill him. So I think I use a pistol, but I can't remember with any certainty. Not to mention, he does come across a bit awkward in terms of positioning. So we go behind him, shoot him in the head. Challenge completed. Yeah, so quite an interesting kill that. It wasn't exactly anything related to a challenge, but you do get straight shot for it. So if you haven't already done that, that's another challenge off the list. And from here we can actually exit, and we can exit with our suit on. So I actually really enjoyed this route for that reason, because each time I completed a kill I was able to go back and get my suit. Which, just trying to keep it uh, as realistic as possible, I thought that was a nice touch. So I'd like to thank you for watching, especially if you've stuck with it to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, there will be more Hitman 2 videos coming in the coming weeks. I think the next video will be in Littleton Creek, so I hope to see you then. Thank you very much for watching, this has been Josh from JJ's Productions, see you again soon. Bye for now everyone.